right, today I'm going to show you how to make a yummy salsa, Italian salsa. Uh, we've got 10 Roma tomatoes right here. Uh, it's fall, so the uh, summer tomatoes are not in season really, but uh, you can see there I've cut them up just a little bit bigger, bigger than pico de gallo. But this will make any tomatoes, even if they're out of season, have a lot of zing to them. So uh, it's, it's excellent. You should try it. I've got a little bit of red onion in here. You could you could change this recipe out however you want. Uh, I only did like a tablespoon and a half of red onion there. Uh, the rest of my family doesn't really like onions that much, but I love them. Uh, so we've got two cloves of garlic, fresh garlic. Don't use that jarred stuff. That stuff is the... Uh, so we'll throw that in the bowl as well. It's just a bunch of stuff like you make any, any sort of salsa. Just whatever you kind of have on hand. I like mine a little spicy, so I'm going to add a little bit of uh, crushed red pepper. And you got to season up with salt, of course. Uh, about a teaspoon and a half there. Always got to add some acid in here. We've got uh, a whole lemon that I'm putting in here. Uh, you, you could do lemon or you could do whatever acid you want. Um, uh, it's usually three to one, so I've, I've got uh, some oil there and some more acid, just a little bit of balsamic, balsamic but uh, if you don't add the lemon, you could add more if you really like balsamic. Cherry peppers, give it a little bit of pizzazz there. Uh, cut the top off and, and get all those seeds out. There's a lot of seeds in cherry peppers, so I pulled all those out and I just kind of chopped them up. Not too fine, but just a little bit. Add those in there. As you can see, we're just building all these flavors in there. It's, it's delicious. You'll love this. I added green olives. I like green olives better than black olives. You could add black olives if you want. You could add uh, capers. You could add whatever you want, but uh, just any sort of uh, pickled, pickled, uh, you know, kind of Italian type thing going on. And of course, you got to add basil, you know. Uh, you could add as much or as little as you'd like. I probably could have added a little extra there. And all you do is mix it up after this. You've got all those flavors going on. Now this will last about five days in the fridge, but it will be gone before then because it's like so delicious. You could add it to uh, you know any sort of grilled meats, just pour it over the top, chicken, uh, steak, fish. I, I'll actually put it on pizza before, kind of drain off and put it on pizza and cook a pizza. It is delicious. Giving a quick taste for salt and everything there. Man, great. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe.